Hi, this is Mario with Mario's Math Tutoring. In this video, we're going to go through the third of the previews for my new ACT Math Review video course. So if that's something that you're interested in purchasing, it goes through 65 concepts that are important and helpful to know on the math section of the ACT. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go through a preview, a sample of what those lessons are, are like. So if you're interested, check out the video course. I'll have uh, links for that for you. In the meantime, check out this video. I'll see you in the video. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about midpoint. So midpoint is definitely something you want to know for the ACT. Let's go over the formula and we'll go through some examples. So the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So it's like an average. You're adding the x-coordinates of the two points, the two endpoints, and dividing by 2. And then you're adding the y-coordinates of the two points and dividing by 2. And that's how you find the middle or the average. So for example, here if we have the points 1, 4 and 3, 8, I yeah, just kind of draw a diagram like this. We're trying to find the midpoint. 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 2, and 4 plus 8 is 12 divided by 2. So you can see this is going to be 2 comma 6 is the location of the midpoint. So let's do a couple examples. Go ahead and pause the video so you can practice on your own, and then we can go ahead and do these together So and check your answer. If M is the midpoint of segment BC, and the coordinates of point B are 2 negative 6, and the coordinates of point M okay, are a negative 1 and negative 9, what are the coordinates of point C? That's the other end point. So see if you can do that one on your own. So the way I would do this is I would draw kind of like a diagram, something like this. Okay, so here's your midpoint, here's B, here's C, right? We don't know the coordinates of C, so let's call that X, Y. B, they tell us the coordinates are 2, negative 6, and the midpoint, negative 1, negative 9. Now don't worry about this drawing being, you know, uh, accurate as far as in the coordinate plane. This is just to help us to visualize. So we know the midpoint, but we don't know the endpoint. So what you would do is you would add the two endpoints together. So we'd say x plus 2 divided by 2, okay, so the average of the x's equals negative 1. And then the average of the y's, y plus negative 6 divided by 2 equals the y coordinate of the midpoint. All you have to do then is solve these little mini equations uh, by multiplying, let's see, both sides by 2. So that's x plus 2 equals negative 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, you get x equals negative 4. Same thing here, multiply both sides by 2. That gives you y minus 6. And then if you add 6 to both sides, you get negative 12. So you can see your answer is going to be negative 4 or negative 12. And if you want to double check your work, just go ahead and add these together and divide by 2. So negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Divided by 2 is negative 1, and so on. Let's go to example number 2. So if your school is two blocks east and four blocks north of your home, and your gym is three blocks west and two blocks south of your home, and your favorite restaurant is halfway between your gym and school, where is the restaurant located in relation to your house? So see if you can do this problem on your own, and we'll do it together. So the first thing that I would do here is I would draw a coordinate axis system. So I would like coordinateize these uh, locations, turn them into coordinates, and you can draw this as north, east, south, west. So north, east, southwest, like so. And so basically, you're, let's say your house is right here at the origin, and you're going two blocks east and four blocks north. So two east and four north. So there's two comma four, and that represents, let's see, your school, right? So I'll just put S for school. And then your gym is three blocks west and two, uh, two blocks south, right? So one, two, three, and two south. So that's at negative three, negative two. That's the gym, right? Okay, and your favorite restaurant is halfway between the gym and the school. Okay, so we're basically looking for the midpoint. So when they say halfway, notice they didn't come right out and tell us it was the midpoint, but halfway is, is midway, right? So all we're going to do is use our midpoint formula. We're going to add negative 3 plus 2 divided by 2. So I'm adding the x-coordinates together and dividing by 2. Okay. Same thing with the y's. We've got 4 plus negative 2 divided by 2. And that's our midpoint. So that's going to be negative 1 half. And this is going to be 2 over 2, which is 1. Now in the context of this problem, in relation to your home, that's going to be a half a block west and one block north. So I'll just say 1 half block west and one block north. And that would be your solution. So this is a the little tricky problem about this is that you just had to coordinateize the points, draw this northeast southwest axis so that you could locate 
uh, where those were in relation to your home and you placed your home at the origin. But after you got it coordinatized as such, using the midpoint formula was straight, pretty straightforward. So midpoint's definitely something you wanna know for the ACT. Uh, memorize that formula and I'll see you in the next lesson.